Uh, let's talk about it. This is just a wild satellite picture to see both of these storms right next to each other. Uh, Bertha, uh, Bertha, <laughs> Umberto is moving more towards the north. There's Bermuda right there where the M is. OK, and this one will wrap around. But as this goes around, it's literally going to pull on em Imelda and Imelda is going to follow it right out. So initially we were thinking the Imelda went into Charleston, maybe even Myrtle Beach. Uh, and, and in fact, the Hurricane Center's first forecast had it stalling. It was here one day and then 12 hours later it was right on the coast. That would have been a huge amounts of rain. Thankfully, that does not look like that's going to happen. And it even stayed offshore. I mean, look at that rain shield there staying offshore. That's about 175 miles off of Cape Canaveral. So we just get a few of these showers pushed back. Winds right now 65 miles per hour with Imelda. Imelda's going to start making a turn. It's moving to the north now. Might go northeast later tonight, but certainly during the day tomorrow it goes northeast and east northeast. But that takes it towards Bermuda with 90 mile per hour winds by Wednesday. So it looks like they they've been dodging everything this year. It looks like they may have to deal with this one. That's a 36 hour loop and in just the last 24 hours or so there's been a little bit more wind shear on. See how the center's here and most of the storm. Look, that's a good circle with the eye and it was almost a perfect eye centered. Now the center is not the center of the cloud. You see here how much they extend out to the east. That's wind shear. And so that should continue to knock the intensity down as it moves by. So 105. Well, 140 right now, right? 105 by tomorrow afternoon. Uh, Wednesday afternoon, it's 85 as it's going around. OK, so that will give them some wind and some rain, but not those high numbers. Now the wind, this is tomorrow, and that's why I say that northeast coast of Florida will get their most wind tomorrow. It's not terrible, but again, gusts in the 30s. And then by Wednesday afternoon, it's pulling away. Now I will show you this. Look what happens for us Thursday. It's not a lot of wind, but we'll call it breezy Thursday and Friday right with east to northeast winds. That's an area of high pressure building into the north and there may even actually be a low develop here and track off west across the Gulf. We'll keep an eye on that for you and the rain dodged another bullet there. The heaviest numbers will stay just off the east coast. We'll get a few passing showers.